Hey guys and welcome to a guide showing you the best places to find all of the new cloth items. You do need some of these for trading as well as for tasks. They are mainly in interchange. You can also find them in duffel bags and in hidden stashes. I do actually have guides on all of the hidden stashes based on Tarkov that will be in the link in the description if you'd like to check that out. But through my time of playing Tarkov, the best places to actually find the cloths is in interchange in the clothing stores. I'm going to show you a little route that I take to check out the clothing stores. Okay, so now we're at the front of the big interchange building, which is called Ultra at the main entrance. I'm going to show you the best route that I know of taking to get the cloths. If I have missed off any stores or you know of any stores that actually got a decent amount of loot, don't forget to leave it in the comments down below. We are all human. So, I'm going to take the stims to make me have basically infinite stamina. If you don't know what that is, check up the icon at the top right hand corner and you can see this absolute nuttiness. Wait for it all to get built up and then we're going to go. Okay. Never mind. What we're going to do is head up the main escalators and turn to my left. You have got Viking, this building, uh, this place in here. I've personally never found any luck inside of there. Same with Steppel. So I start from a Dino Clavin right here. You should always check these racks right here because they can spawn in the bottom of all the shelvings. Right here and right here. Make sure you always check these as well where they got the displays on low levels. You can tell if they're actually up because it is a giant square piece of cloth. And it is actually really hard to miss. Same with this one as again. This location is really good. T-Rend or Trend is one of the best locations I found personally to find fleece. Don't forget to always check down the bottom. Same with this location. These and these. We're kind of getting shot at the moment for none spawning. It is an offline mode. But, got the escalators and turn to your right. We're going to head into Father and Sons. You can see one spawn right here. Directly here. You can tell because they're just not nice and neat. That's Fleece. Or Aramid actually. Um, so they can spawn on the bottom of these like I said before. we got another one. Fleece right there. They can also spawn like right here. On top of these racks just here. Next one we're going to check out is Eastland. This is pretty a decent one. I found them spawn right here as well. But again, here you go. There's another one. Corossa. That was worth a lot. That's like 100k at the moment. Aramid. And now what we're going to do is head to the main area. We're going to go and check out Jacob and Jacob. In my opinion, I got... I think it was 7 from Jacob and Jacob. This was my best one so far. Once again, don't forget to check the shelves. They can actually spawn here, on in Jacob and Jacob, on these shelves right here. Same on these ones here and here, and next to the changer rooms. Always check the changer rooms, they can spawn on the floor. Again, these shelves and these shelves, and always check these ones here, the display cabinets in the middle. I personally haven't found any on these display cabinets, but you can obviously get them there. Now what we're going to do is head over, go left of the Chinese... I think it's Chinese, maybe, I don't know, it's got kind of funky writing. Pass underway, past the little game center on the right hand side, and head into Figaro. This is a one that I've always found some in, usually spawning on this shelf right here. They can spawn on top of the counter, just here, and as well in the changer rooms. There's one right there, spawning on the lower, oh look at that. <laughs> anyway, uh, you, got, you got one right there, don't forget to check the shelving racks. That one over here, over there, and this one right here. Then you this glass is smashed, so you can literally just walk through here. Turn around and head it into urban clothes. Once again, they can spawn on top of these racks. And always check the changing room. Keep checking, as you can see right here. We are currently getting tunnel vision. Due to the stims wear off. But once again, in here, make sure you check these shelves. The bottom of them. Here's one right here. As well as the changer rooms, they can spawn on top of the chairs here as well. That is the route that I take to get all of the cloth items. It took me actually about four runs to finish my two tasks that is related to these cloth items. And it's also pretty good money if you get quite lucky with the Corossa ones. 
They're, they are definitely the money makers. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I do stream over on twitch.tv slash piranha underscore seven days a week starting 8 a.m. GMT. Also, we now have a website that has all of the information on my YouTube channel in one location, which will be in the link in the description where you can navigate it very easily and find what you're looking for. Guys, hopefully you found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.